Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. I'm Charlie and today we will be doing part two of the last video I made which was attempting to retro bright things with uh, the sun using only the sun and I mentioned how crazy this was and stuff but thankfully we got a really good day today so we're going to be trying it out. So let's get started. So I what I first decided to do was I got this old keyboard, the one from the last video, I put a book over it, and I put it out in the sun to see if it would make a difference. So let's see what happened. Alright guys, so the test is complete. So basically this is what happened. So, ignore this keyboard. This keyboard was just used for something else. Uh, this keyboard I put outside, and what I did was I put this really old science book on it, because what I wanted to do was block this part out so that you couldn't um so that you couldn't so that the sun couldn't reach it and I just left this part exposed. What I also did was I really wanted to test out the brittleness of the plastics and how brittle plastics get. So what I did was I put this key, this um volume key in the sun and I leave this volume key not in the sun. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to smash both of these with a hammer. And, and if this breaks more easily than this, then that means that the plastic on this one has gotten more brittle because of the sun. Because I want to test that theory because it is one of the theories and one of the side effects that people think can happen with these. But anyway, um, let's see, let's reveal this and see if it changed. Oh my god, it actually worked. It's a lot harder to see in person for me because of how dark this room is. But look, you can see. Right here, you can see there's an obvious contrast, and these keys have already been done on a, in a different experiment. This is just from being in the sun, and then these are unfinished right here, and then there's this. And now it looks like a really horrible keyboard, but it worked! Can you believe that? And I wonder if my science book's okay. I mean, that's fine. I don't even care about this thing. I just found it in the trash. Anyway, that's pretty cool. So... This step method definitely works, as you can see. This was out for, like, eight hours. I put this out at 7 in the morning, and it was sunny for the entire day. But, like, really sunny. It was blindingly sunny. It was. It's, like, 60 degrees. Not very hot or not too cold. It's, like, regular. And it's, the middle of, it's in the middle of, like, spring, so it's acceptable. So it's 60 degrees, very sunny. I left it out for, um, for eight hours and 30 minutes, exactly. So, yeah, and that actually looks really good. So, now the test I want to do is I want to test to see if this key, because this key I left out with it, and it actually does look a tiny, it actually doesn't look any different, because this key here, well, it looks very slightly different, because this key here doesn't need to be um, retrobrighted. It's just, this was just for the brittleness test. So, what I'm going to do with this key and this key is I'm going to smash both these keys, this key is the key that hasn't been exposed, which is why it's the lower volume key. And this key is the one that's been exposed, which is why it's the higher volume key. So basically, I'm going to smash both these keys. And whichever one crumbles apart e easier or just breaks apart easier um, is um, better. I mean, what? I mean, who knows? Maybe, maybe, the, um, maybe this key... Um, maybe this key actually um, got stronger because of the sun, but I seriously doubt that. My hypothesis is that it's not actually going to, um, is that it, this, this this key isn't really going to like change. It's not going to be any different, this key, because it really, it really takes a long time for plastics to get brittle, but otherwise that's about it. So this definitely works. So I'm calling that a success, and now it looks really awful, so I'm probably going to have to like put it out on another day. I might do this to more computers, but that depends on how brittle these plastics will get. So let's do the test right, right now. Alright guys, so now for the hammer test. So this is the plastic that's been exposed, so we're going to put that to the side. The first thing we're going to smash is this one. And don't worry, don't worry about this mechanical keyboard. I have like 20 of the, I have like 20 of these white mechanical keyboards that go for like iMac G5s. I have like 20 of them, and most of, the, and they aren't even in that good condition. And the, and it's not like I'm really sad. It's not like I'm really losing anything. And if you really want one of these keyboards, you could ask me, or maybe, or maybe um, you could find one on eBay for like 10 bucks. But yeah, so don't worry. This is it's not like a, it's not like there's gonna be a serious loss. So this is the key that's not been exposed. I'm just gonna hit it once, 
And then this is the key that has been exposed, and I'm going to hit it once. And if it doesn't do anything, I'm going to hit it like three more times. All right, so three, two, one. And there we go. I think I heard some pieces fly. But, yeah, that didn't really do much, so I'm going to try that again. Yeah, it really didn't do anything, so I'm going to try that again. So three, two, one. Yeah, it didn't do anything, so really didn't do anything. Not really putting too much force on it because I don't want things to fly off. And actually, to be honest, this key actually kind of, the key that's been exposed actually looks, no, not, I don't, I don't know. I think it might just be the lighting in this room that's tricking me. I don't know. But if it, it I mean, so they always keep like changing darknesses. Like this looks darker now, but then this looks darker. It's kind of weird. But anyway, I mean, let's try this key now. So three, two, one. This is the exposed key, by the way. So three, two, one. Okay. Nothing happened, so... Yeah, so nothing happened to either of the keys. They both did pretty much the same thing. Uh, now I kind of want to do it again, but this time I'm going to do it on, like, a stronger surface. So we're gonna, I'm going to do it on the floor, and then we're going to see All right, guys, at a more harder concrete surface. All right, so first we're going to do the unexposed key. All right, so three, two, one. Okay, there we go. So as you can see, this broke. Wasn't really too much force, to be honest, and the whole thing's just all messed up now. So, all right, so we're just gonna move that to the side. Now we're gonna see this key. So this one more like bent and deformed and like cracked in one place. I'm if this this one I'm gonna my hypothesis is that this one is gonna like break into a bunch of into into pieces, but we'll see because this is still in one piece. So, three, two, one, and my hypothesis was correct. As you can see, this one has really has a pretty different result. Uh, this one's all covered. This piece is all covered in spider web, so I'll just leave that there. But as you can see, this piece actually broke. I really want to see if I can get it to deform like that one. And yeah, I can, but it's but it's a lot weaker. It's cracking in more places. Like here, look. Look, it's cracking in more, it seems to be cracking in more places, but the first try it just broke in half, so. Yeah, this, well, this one's kind of doing the same. Well, now I'm kind of stuck, but I would say that it made it, like, slightly more brittle because it had a different result when I hit it the first try. Um, I don't know what, uh, let me just try it with one more key, and also kind of because it's fun. All right, let's just try that again quickly. No, this one didn't even break at all. Okay, let's try that again now. Oh, yeah, that was a lot more. Because, I mean, I hit hard with that one. You know, to be honest, I just wanted to do the third one because it was fun. But, as you can see, um, it does show a bit more brittleness, this one, compared to the other one, which is kind of, like, gone because I just hit them a few times because it was fun. But it's definitely, yeah, cause it, like, it's definitely um, more brittle and stuff. So it's only very slight, but I would imagine that with like the newer computers, it would, it would be harder for it to get brittle because of how mod new it is. But with the older ones, I could see like stuff like the Power Max series that, all, that already have the very brittle plastics. I could see it getting even more brittle and very fragile. In fact, so I would be very careful with retro brightening. I'd, I'd suspect something like a, like a Macintosh SE or Classic or something, or anything newer than like a, like a G3. Uh, anything like that, I think would be okay, but something like a, but, some, but something that's more weak, like a Power Mac or something, I would just stay, I would just not do this method because the whole thing about the, that makes the, um, the regular method with the hydrogen peroxide so good is that the um that the hydrogen peroxide i think keeps it um damp keeps it like moist and stuff and keeps it from going dry or, and stuff i don't know really but it just stops it from like getting all dry and uh and brittle so um i mean that's what i think at least happens but otherwise that's all i really have to say i mean if you do this way a lot more like, if you do this, like, weekly for, like, maybe a year, then you're definitely going to see, like, it's going to start breaking, so. 
Yeah, but otherwise, that'll do it for today's video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed my experiment. Oh, yeah, this is the volume button as well. So, I hope you enjoyed my experiment on this. And I'm definitely going to be doing this with a few more keyboards. And maybe even my image writer, too. That could be an interesting video. But otherwise, that'll do it. Because I don't really have much else to talk about in this video. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Leave a like and subscribe, comment down below what you want me to do next, and donate to my website, link in the description below. Um, if you have like any old computer co equipment you want to donate, uh, donate, donate it down below. I mean, I've already gotten one donation, so you could be next. However, the person hasn't sent me it yet, but I'm hoping he will. So yeah, thanks for watching, I'll see you guys next time, goodbye.